Warriors fans can return to Chase Center for games starting April 23rd. And of course, they'll be greeted by a whole new set of COVID-related protocols. Of course. Crown Forest Sports <laughs> reporter Kate Rooney, she was at Chase Center today and tells us what's new. By the time April 23rd comes, it will be 407 days, 407 days since we've had fans at a game here at Chase Center. It's been a long 407 days. Now fans can finally return to Warriors games in less than two weeks. But in-person game day will be a far cry from what it was like the last time crowds were in the stands. We have spent every single hour of every single one of those 407 days redesigning and reimagining the experience at Chase Center with the number one goal of making sure we emerge from this as the safest arena in the country. When the arena reopens at up to 35% capacity, some of the safety measures will be simple and familiar. Copious amounts of hand sanitizer and mandatory mask wearing. Others are the result of targeted scientific research, high-tech sanitizing machines, and air filters that mimic the effect of masks. That's been a real uh, divider uh, here with a brand new center like this that's able to uh, get the kinds of air exchanges that, it, that we need. One of the biggest pieces of the game day puzzle is, of course, testing. Any fans who wish to come to a game at Chase Center in person will need proof of full vaccination or a negative test result. So anyone who purchases tickets seven days or more in advance will receive one of these. It's a Lucera at home test kit. It comes with a nasal swab, a vial for your sample and a battery operated testing unit that delivers your results right at home in about 30 minutes. The verified results will be synced with an app called Clear, which fans must then show at the door to be granted entry. The ticketing process will also be virtual using your phone, as is ordering food at the arena. You're going to show them your phone that has your name. Uh, one of the cashiers uh, will look up the order and fulfill your items, and you'll be able to take it and then walk to a designated area to uh, eat your food and beverage. There won't be any eating allowed in the bowl seating, and once in their seats, fans will be well-spaced to allow for social distancing. Additionally, the Dub Hub, Golden State's virtual fan experience, will still be available. So the new game day is a true blend of the latest in COVID-safe technology and good old-fashioned hoops. At Chase Center, Kate Rooney, Cron 4 Sports.